We are going to continue to troll people with decks we find randomly on Twitter. Hey, Nick from Nine Card TCG, and today we're, we're playing. There's, there's like three people in the world who like Durant, and we're going to be playing a really interesting Durant deck that I. I we're going to be playing a really interesting Durant. <laughs> I feel like I can't get through this sentence. We are going to be playing a very interesting Durant deck that I found on Twitter. Link to the original tweet that had the deck in the video description. And uh, yeah, if you're a Durant fan, this is for you. And I'm not talking about Kevin Durant, even though why am I even talking? <laughs> it's it's Friday. I'm recording this on Friday. It's the New Year's weekend, so I'm off over the weekend, which is great. And I'm just in a pretty good mood. So we're gonna play a silly deck. It's going to really make people upset once it works. And uh, why don't we just head over to PTCG Live, show the deck, see what it can do. And, uh, but before we do, if you haven't already, do me a favor, like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff tells YouTube this is a good channel and other people should watch it. I have a really cool Snorlax shirt that I got over uh, for Christmas. So I'm wearing it. I like it. It's comfy. Uh, and we're just going to head over to PTCG Live, take a look at this Durant deck. The focus of the deck is, of course, Durant with the Devour attack for two colorless energies. You, For each Durant you have in play, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Now we run three Durants, so we can discard up to three cards. Why do we not run four? Well, we're going to be able to do other things than just mill, right? There's a bunch of other Pokemon in this deck that aren't Durant. So we have the mill option. And we can discard three cards from the top of our opponent's deck every turn, which is really, really cool. We can attach a twin or double turbo energy to this thing to power it up in just a single turn. And we don't have to worry about dealing less damage with something like DTE because we don't deal any damage. So that's kind of cool. Some of the other Pokemon we have, of course, is like Manaphy, so we can protect our bench Pokemon. That's very, very important. We have a Mill Tank because Miracle Body prevents all damage done to this Pokemon by the attacks of your opponent's Pokemon V. So you can just like not put anything else in play if your opponent doesn't have a way to deal with Miltech. Now, decks like Mew and Lugia often do. Lost Zone often uh, definitely does. So it's not it's not like, a oh, my opponent's playing a V, I'm instantly going to play Miltank. But something like Arceus Gudra might not have an answer. Sometimes they play a Cramorant, so do be careful. Maybe have like an extra bench Pokemon once they get like four cards in the Lost Zone or something. Uh, just so if they do throw a Cramorant out, you're not going to just lose instantly. So something. Um, we have this Ditto with the Sudden Transformation. This Pokemon can use the attacks of any basic Pokemon in your discard pile except for Pokemon you know like with the things that's on we don't have any robux pokemon so it's fine we can use the attack of any pokemon in our discard box we have to have the necessary energy to use it but we can have three durants in the discard or we can have like our yveltal in the discard and we can still use the attack which is kind of cool speaking of yveltal this is the celebrations yveltal cry destruction for two colors energies discard up to three special energies from your opponent's pokemon really great for dealing with things like hisumi and zoroark mew lugia really really annoying to deal with you just get rid of all those special energies lugia might be able to attack the next turn but you get rid of three energies and then three energies and then three and like it's just and then you just boss up something else so uh we'll, we'll talk about that snorlax with the gourmand dies once during your turn if this pokemon's in the active spot draw until you have seven great for the early turn for later turns we do have sencino with the make do discard a card from your hand draw two cards so we have Snorlax for the very early game, or if we really, really need to draw some cards, and then Sincino for every other turn. Uh, more Peko here, Torment. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon attacks. During your opponent's next turn, that Pokemon can't use an attack. It's kind of cool for things that only have uh, a single attack, something like Olugia that only has the uh, Tempest Dive attack, or you know, so something like that. So kind of cool. And then we can also spark. I well, we can't actually spark. We don't have any lightning energy, so we're really just using the torment just to keep our opponent from attacking. Uh, things like Lugia tend not to have a ton of switches, but they started to include some switch cards to deal with all the paralysis that was going around. So I don't know how useful this one Pekka will actually be, but I'm sure there's a time and place for it. Something that is kind of useful is Ice Cube Block Phase 70 damage. 
uh, for a water double colorless during your opponent's next turn prevent all damage done to this pokemon by attacks from basic pokemon that includes pokemon v things like that it, our opponent plays nothing but v's well or nothing but basic pokemon blissey blissey decks will not be able to deal with block face because they only play basics so if you only have ice skew in play they'll never be able to hit into you and you're always going to be dealing 70 damage to them so kind of cool uh that's all the pokemon we have as far as energy goes we do have four double turbo three twin and two wash energies now the wash energy does two things not only does it provide the water energy for block face so we can actually attack with it but it means that we can't get uh lost mind we can't get your veltal things like that with the wash energy attack it prevents effects of attacks done to this pokemon so kind of cool and then we have our trainers for bosses orders we really want to be able to just bring up one of our opponent's pokemon that doesn't have any energies on it or bring up a pokemon discard all energies attached to it trap it in the active with something like galar mine which increases the retreat cost by two very very high so we just kind of trap stuff and then just start deleting cards off the top of the deck or just removing energies making it so they can't attack if they do knock out our pokemon we have things like rescue carrier something that we can get pokemon with 90 hp two of them from our discard back into our hand so two durants go down well we just rescue carrier get them both back play them and now we're milling for two three cards again which is kind of cool serena is another boss or draw supporter we got marnie we got bruno bruno is a really nice draw supporter for this particular deck since we have a lot of single prize pokemon they're probably going to get knocked out pretty easily bruno says shuffle your hand into your deck then draw four cards but if one of your pokemon was knocked out during the last turn your opponent's last turn that is then you get to do that and draw seven so kind of cool echoing horns gonna let us get a pokemon from our opponents discard back into play so we want to bench lock them we want to boss you know bring back like a v or something like that and boss it up kind of trap it into the active that's also an option heavy ball is going to get some of our single prize pokemon like our, the ones we have one of a snorlax a manaphy uh something like that out of the prizes really cool we can use heavy ball look at our prizes it's also a way of just looking at our prizes even if we don't get anything from it we just know what's in our prizes which is a very important thing to be able to do quick ball and level ball are our pokemon search uh we have an energy lotto so that we can try to find our twin energy or double turbo something like that to actually start hitting with devour a little bit easier and then an ordinary rod to get our basic pokemon back into the deck we can you know then quick ball level ball for them things like that it's also just going to help us help us from decking out since we might use something like make do kind of frequently we want to make sure that we're not decking out and our opponent does so we can put some pokemon back into the deck that's the entire thing let's go and see how it does hey this is nick I i'm editing obviously it's nick right who else would it be <laughs> i'm editing and i realized that this next part's not going to make a ton of sense without a little bit of context i didn't show the first game i played because the games are just too long with the style deck and so uh, I cut out game number one where my opponent won because they flipped heads on Pokemon Catcher three times and it was just absurd and I got kind of annoyed. So uh, th th this should make a little bit more sense now <laughs> as to why I was so frustrated. But here you go. Back to the video. Sorry to interrupt. All right, let's go into another game. Let's see if our opponent can get just as lucky as the last one. Can we win a coin flip? Can we win one? Uh, my opponent got three last time. No, 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 no. Why, why should we? Why should we? I'm seething. I'm so mad. What are we playing? Eternatus? Fine. They usually dig through the deck pretty aggressively. But Ice Cube here doesn't help uh, since it's only basic Pokemon. So it's kind of annoying. But luckily we'll have a lot of boss targets. Galar Mine will be a thing. Uh, so that's kind of fun. And we could also torment 
onto the VMAX. It only has one attack, Dread End. So, that's fun. Oh, twin energy is nice. They didn't attach any energy, so it's unlikely they'll attack this next turn. Why? We'll just discard the one. <laughs> just the one. Sure. Why not? We get just the just the one little card. I hate this game. Here's Surgeon Deck for a Dark Pokemon and an Energy. So, hiding Dark is an option. So they can retreat. Fun. Dark Pokemon. Probably a turn in this VMAX. There it is. Capture Energy is a pretty good choice as well. Get another Pokemon in play. Man, I have not... This deck is not really working the way I'd like it to. I would like to see more Pekko with Torment. And then setting up the Umbreons as boss targets for the, as, as well, because Umbreon VMAX, when you play it from your hand to the bench to evolve one of your Pokemon, switch it, switch your opponent's bench Pokemon, one of their, your, uh, one of their bench Pokemon with the active. Best I can do for now. Just try to remove remove their energies. Keep them from attacking. That's all I can do. If I can keep them down, then maybe I can buy myself a little time to find them the Bruno or Mar Marnie or something, even a Serena. Try to start setting up multiple Durants and I can start my mill. But right now I don't have much. Oh, there's the dark energy, so can't you velt all that away? <laughs> but I can go into the Snorlax this turn, which is nice. You can save the Yveltal. Boss's orders. What are they gonna bring up? Oh, okay. They do it for me. Cool. Now I don't have to discard an energy. That was that was actually rather helpful. Because they're not attacking, so. We'll just go here. I'll get rid of that Cincino for another Durant. Eventually, I gotta work on that more Pekko. And I'm happy to Gourmandize. Alright. Alright. We can quit ball away that Mana Fee. I feel like... I mean, they have a bunch of bosses vis-a-vis... -vis this uh, Umbreon, which they'll probably bring up the Yveltal or the Durant with energy on it. So maybe I shouldn't have attached that energy. But I think get a Crobat. They better thin that hand down before they Crobat. So now they have, because they have the two Dark Energies, they don't really have to worry about the, uh, the Yveltal getting rid of anything. I just got to start. Kind of hope they don't have... Umbreon VMAX before I start the mill quite up. Nope, there's the Umbreon VMAX. Dark Signal, bring up the Durant with the energy. Oh, they bring up the... the your Veltal is such an interesting choice. You don't have any energies for Cry of Destruction to get rid of unless you're going to be doing it later. But I do have the, uh, the Ditto to deal with that or to use that if needed later. So we'll go ahead, and we're just going to start to mill. We'll get rid of the mana fee. We're not going to need it. No bench damage here. And let's go ahead and Marnie. See if we can find another energy. If I do, I'm not going to put it into play. We don't, but we find a more Pekko, which is kind of nice. I'll put down this Encino. And we'll just get rid of three. Getting rid of that Crobat and the Great Ball is kind of nice. Crobat means they can't draw extra cards. I mean, they probably have four of them, so like, whatever. 
I don't care that much how many Pokemon they put on the bench. Uh, because I will like to... Okay, there's the other capture energy. What did I get at this point? What do we even get? A, oh, a coughing? A Moltres. Okay. I don't, I don't know how much that Moltres is going to be useful. But... I would like to see them evolve that other Eternatus. Just so I can boss it up and then it has a retreat cost of 3. But hiding dark does make it a little challenging. I'll send up the Snorlax, because I would like to draw some extra cards. Of course I find that... We don't care about Echo Horn. They have a huge bench. It doesn't really matter too much. You can get the Mill Tank. Bring up you. I'll attach just so I can draw an extra card. Okay, we got the scoop up net for if they don't attack, we can go ahead. We can scoop up net the Snorlax, throw down the and not put it back down. Sure, you bring up something else. I don't really care too much. Unless you have that hiding dark energy in hand or Crobat to draw a bunch of cards. <sighs> of course. Of course. You have the switch. You have two cards in hand. You have the switch. Of course. Of course. All right. They have three prizes left. Let's get a torment. No more dread end. Where are all my Galar mines, by the way? Like, what happened to those? I would love to get some of these extra Pokemon off the bench. Like the Snorlax off the bench with the scoop of net. I'd even get the other Durant. And then just go into like Mill Tank. And they could knock out the more Peko. Even if I only get Even if I get two of them off the bench, the the Snorlax and the Durant or the Snorlax and the Sincino or something, and then just you know try to just Keep them from doing anything. They're going to retreat into the other Eternatus, probably. Unless they have a VMAX in hand and not attacking. If they have a VMAX in hand, I'm going to be furious. Or like an energy switch. Uh, even if they energy switch. Oh, they go on to that one. Okay. Well, they already hard retreated. So they can power accelerator. Sure. Okay. Fine. Fine. Let me just torment. Dread End. They have no cards in hand. I mean, they have one now that they draw. Watch it be a Crobat. Watch my luck. They top that Crobat Research Marnie something. Uh, yeah, they can die of flame wings. That's fine. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna start getting rid of some cards here. Like the Yveltal. Because the Yveltal, I can discard the Yveltal with the Cincino because I have Ditto. If it matters later. Right now I have fewer cards in deck than them, so I'll deck out first. Okay. We'll go Cincino. Kind of need Galar Mine. Where 
are my mines. Nope, that's not it. I'm just gonna pick up the Snorlax. And I'll just torment. Just choose a dread end. Just enough time. I probably gotta put this mill tank down in play though, and then like Marnie. Or like boss up some like Serena something else up. Energy switch. Okay. I mean they get hard retreat, yeah. But they don't have anything to really do. Unless, again, they have the VMAX in hand. Nope. They could just power accelerator and knock this thing out, though, which is kind of scary. There's the Galar Mine. Let's go. This is the highest retreat cost. And we'll put the mill tank down. And we'll just torment. Dread end. Retreat cost is now five. So unless they top deck a switch or an, uh, a hiding dark energy, then they're not really going to be able to do much. It's just going to be sitting here, though. I need... Marnie would be really useful later to put a bunch of cards from hand and force them to draw a few cards and try to switch how many, you know, how many cards we have in the deck. Um, I don't really recommend this kind of deck for a best of three scenario because you're, you're just... In a best of three tournament, you're just not going to be able to finish... You're just not going to finish. So, yeah, I don't really like this too, too much. And we'll just keep doing this. We have another Serena to boss up something else later. I mean, we are just the world's slowest chip damage onto this Eternatus VMAX. But yeah, in a, in a best of three setting, this deck just doesn't cut it. Eventually, I'm going to have to start using Durant to like try to mill. Even if they take like an extra prize or two, it's fine. Do I have any Durants in the discard? I think I have one. I have two. Okay, so I can... Oh, they Marnie. Okay. So now we go down to the same number of Pokemon... Uh, cards in deck. I'll go take one less. But if I just mill at all... And now they can find the Quick Ball... Uh, the, the Crobat, draw even more cards... To draw five cards and to get rid of that on this other switch. That's three switches they're down. How many switches could they possibly... They can't run more than three, right? And I just go into Mill Tank at this point. Wow, that morning gave them everything. Everything they could have possibly wanted. But we do have more cards in deck than them now. So we just kind of go into the Mill Tank. They can't knock it out. They only have Vs. So I just need to find a scoop up net is basically my only objective at this point. To get one of these Pokemon out of play so that they can never KO. That's all I need to do is find one scoop up net. Do I not get to see all my prizes? Oh, okay. You have to choose all. Double turbo. I have a scoop up net prized, so I should have one in the deck. I should have one in the deck. Pretty sure this deck runs three. I can level ball and search just to make sure. Yeah, I have two in the deck. Okay, great. I have two. 
And I'm gonna thin I'm gonna start thinning the deck. Pull the Mencino just to get it out. We can get rid of the Mencino. Make do try to find a scoop on that. We don't. We find twin. Whatever. Route will hit pretty hard. So they can't attack into my mill tank, but I can knock out this Eternatus VMAX because they have too much so many Pokemon in play. I just need to find I mean if I knock this thing out, there's a 50-50 chance I find a scoop up net. So I just have to hope they don't have a like two bosses back to back. That's really all I need to hope for. The Marnie. Alright, all right, I'm cool with the Marnie. I'm actually very okay with the Marnie. I didn't have much going on in my hand, so. Can we find a scoop of net? No, but we find our own Marnie, which is nice. They VMAX that Eternatus. Okay. Do they have the energy to hard retreat? It's a lot of energies that they're getting rid of. We're going to be able to see a few cards, right? I can level ball, pull something out of the deck, and then Cincino, whatever I pull out, I can, you know, get like the, one of the Mencinos. Make do, get rid of it, draw two Marnie. Okay, then they pass. Find Rescue Carrier, so let's level ball. We'll get the Cincino, or the Mincino. Make do. Get rid of you. Draw two. Yes. Okay. Scoop up that. They will not be able to take that many prizes anymore. So we just route. Knock out the Eternatus VMAX with our mill tank. <laughs> and we'll take three prizes. Boss's orders is huge. They give us the other boss. Uh, the other, they give us the other Eternatus. That's fine. They boss the Cincino, which is uh, this is this is exactly why I did not want to have that many Pokemon on the bench. We might be able to just boss up Crobat, Crobat, or I just like attack. Doesn't look like they're gonna be able to do anything. I mean, I can, if they don't attack because they're trying to deck me, I mean, they only have eight cards left in deck. They dread end. Okay. They go down to one prize. But the question is, do they have a canceling clone to get rid of this mill tank? Because now I don't have to put any Pokemon in play. I do have a lot of Pokemon that they could like Echo Horn, which is kind of scary. Like, that's definitely a concern of mine. So I'm going to Marnie them just to like really try to keep them from doing much. I'm going to route. I, I don't know what the odds they have Echo Horn boss. They can't retreat. They have a retreat cost of five unless they have another switch. And they can't attack into the mill tank. So they have to have either cancel and cologne or uh, something like Echo Horn Boss. And then they would. Oh, they have the counter stadium? Of course they do. Well, they can't boss anymore. So that's good. Oh, come on! <laughs> One. Come on. Are you kidding me? I can't believe this. All four switches they had. The, I, oh my God.
I mean, I'll hit this thing for 170. It can't attack me. So they have two cards left in deck. No, no, seven cards left in, in their deck. I got three prizes. Again, unless they have Echo Horn Boss or Cancel and Clone, they cannot win. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they got it. Go ahead, Galar Mine. And we'll just route. That that emote told me that they ain't got it. They ain't got it. There we go. Just down to one prize. So they give the other Eternatus. I'm two two attacks away. Or if, you know. Uh, I think my both my bosses are at the bottom of the deck. I, although this deck does run four bosses. So how many do I have in the discard? I have two. So yeah, both of them are at the bottom. So I'm two attacks away. Ooh, we get the Serena. Switch one of my opponents benched. V Pokemon with their active. Route 150. Knock out the E-turn VMAX. Our little cow. Oh my, I can't believe. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know how. We managed, I thought they were going to have it for sure, but we managed to pull it out between a combination of Mill Tank and Torment. We did it. Oh my god, we did a lot of damage. My god. So there you have it. I don't know what. Do I really like this deck? Not really in a best of three scenario, like I said in the video. You're not, unless you win game one you're probably not going to win the series because you're just not going to have time to play three games where you're just stalling with more Peko Mill Tank trying to mill. It's just really, really difficult. In a best of one, yeah, sure, go nuts. In a best of three, I don't really know how I felt about it. I've been recording two games. I've recorded two games. I didn't even show you one of them. It took an hour. Crazy long games. You got 50 minutes to play three. It's just, it doesn't seem worth it to me. Best case, you're going to tie... You know, maybe you win game one, game two goes to time, and you, you, you win the round. But if you lose game one, you're going to end up with a tie if you even finish game two. Otherwise, you just end up with a loss and not really not really feeling that. But anyway, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks for, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that support. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff. Tell YouTube is a good channel. Blah, blah, blah. In, enjoy your New Year's. Have a great, happy, safe, healthy New Year's. And uh, I'll see you next time.